Hey everybody and welcome back to round three. I am one and one in this M13 draft pool and I have a hand I want to keep. Uh, right away, going mountain. Mountain right away. We're in round three basically right now, playing for a pack of magic. Uh, it seems like it's not that relevant, but uh, Bond Beetle targeting himself, I guess that's a fair play. I, I like this guy, I don't know, I, I feel like... Like, maybe people don't give him much consideration. Uh, you know, he unless unless you really want to get something... I mean, he's a 1-2 for 1, which, you know, is, is still pretty good, but... And if this guy doesn't hit his land... Okay, I was going to say. If this guy doesn't hit his land drop, this is going to get pretty filthy. Uh, no reason to hit him for 2. I think we're just going to go for the Rummaging Goblin, because we want to start rummaging. Primary target right now is going to be, I think, our Goblin Battle Jester. So he's gonna attack us for for three off the bond beetle. Sure, it's a pretty big bond beetle. At this point right now, I'm not too too worried. Uh, obviously, I'd like to. So now the question is, do I want to curve out, make it so that he can't get through? Because I'm gonna go boom boom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just just go battle jester here. I don't think I'm. I'm battling. I mean, Drake hatching right now for me is just going to be a, a dirtle. I don't know if I'm going to loot away my fire elemental, but if I'm, if what I'm facing is a white green deck, generally speaking, what he's going to have to battle with me is cre creatures, creatures and pump spells. So he's looking to offer a trade. I'll snap block it. Probably walking into a Titanic here. Oh no, he's just trading. Well, no, there's no morbid. So ah. Combos! Alright, uh, let's Mucklaw Shaman. Let's see what we get. If we're lucky, we get a removal spell. Alright, take a look at our opponent hand. We got a Roaring Private Ox, Pacifism. Yeah. Although Roaring Private Ox embarrasses Pacifism. So we gotta have uh, Instant or Sorcery, hey? So we just blanked out. Well, this combo I think is gonna get pretty filthy. Bond Beetle, Roaring, yeah, that's that's just not not fun to play against. So, uh, we'll ship the turn, still getting beaten. Uh, the trigger, he's going to put the Bond Beetle up and, you know, start getting pretty filthy. At least I think this combo will keep us down to one huge Roaring Private Ox, uh, instead of two. Uh, he does have a Pacifism, which is pretty annoying, but on the plus side, eh, well, we'll see. Haven Squire, hit us five. Uh, I think I'll save the six damage right now and just chump. Uh, no, I'm just gonna take the six. I think I think I could chump later. All right, well, that's a pretty big game. That 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 is uh, pretty big, uh, considering he's gonna have to return himself. Uh, do I want to rummage? Uh, I, I think my fire elemental is too good as my finisher right now, so I'm just going to send him. And I I could have sent the Drake Hatchling for an extra damage, but I messed up. Which you guys will have to start getting used to me misplaying because it's gonna happen a lot while I'm doing this. And hey, you can laugh at how badly I play. That's that's a, a solid option. So he plays it, and then what has to bounce it? Or does he have a? Oh, he's got a pacifism for my Drake hatchling. Uh, I think I actually want to loot my elemental now because I have a flyer, and I'm happy with that. Uh, we're not attacking, so. We'll just even up the match a little bit. If uh, this was this guy's big thing, we're we're looking pretty good, right? He's got to basically he keeps time walking me. He's got to draw some other action. Hmm. 
It'd be nice to. Oh, look, I have an answer for that. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, first thing I do is loop. And that didn't do anything, so I'm going to essence drain that and smack him with a bat. I don't know if, if that's correct, but I feel like keeping his roaring primadox, um, mana sinking him, like, basically what I'm doing is I'm mana sinking him down, uh, is a good thing. You know, he's got to like, draw a creature to bounce. Well, that kind of sucks, but. At least it holds holds me off for now. A little bit. Loot away that swamp. Getting a mountain. Uh, he's got another Roaring Primadox in his hand, plus one card. So I think I'm fine. Uh, I can, you know, I can hit him with Turn to Slag at will. And uh, I'm looting and he's not. So I'm I'm okay with that, you know. I like that his mana is being taken up by this guy. Like right now, he's playing essentially with two mana, and that's it, right? Like all he's doing is playing a two mana, two mana wall, and I'm drawing two cards a turn. Uh, I do like that. All right. Well, he decided that was it. Uh, luckily for me, because he wasn't drawing any action, and uh, you know I was about to start getting pretty pretty filthy. Not really. But okay, oh, that's that's that turn. So it looks like he just has kind of green stuff. Uh, you know, the best card I could side in is probably this, but you know, my deck is pretty tight. The reason I haven't been doing any sideboarding is because I really don't feel like I have a good sideboard option. I mean, maybe the Disentomb, you know, getting like Mukla Shaman back or something like that. Wow, that's, that's pretty greedy. I'm not going to mull it because uh, I'm on the draw and I would like to go turn one duty bound dead because if he has a slow start that'll that'll do what I need it to do plus I have a crippling blight to follow up the duty bound dead I mean it's only one damage but you know I do have I do have options right now all right well would have been a lot nicer if it was a mountain but The other thing too that I have is uh, double removal. I got my Searing Spear and my Essence Strain in hand. Tend at night, kind of annoying. But, I mean, not really doing that much. So my Crippling Blade his night and attack. He chumps. I think that's probably what I want to do. I mean, it's a 1 1 first strike. I like Duty Bound Dead. I, I think probably for what it does, this is a perfect card. And I'm keeping up instant speed removal in case he tries to go deep on anything. He hit me for two, which is fine. I guess I could have put Drake Hatchling down and flew up, flew over him, but... Uh, annoying that it's hexproof, but we'll have to deal with it. I, d I don't know that I have an answer to that. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe blocking. Yeah, so here I... I guess I'm going to put a, the Drake Hatchling down just so I can continue to do damage. And this keeps one of these two guys at bay. You know, plus, if he if he decides to attack his Hunt Beast in, I, I'm, I'm fine with taking three. You know, next turn I can just chump it and then... Yeah, maybe he's got a removal spell, but I'll take the damage. It's a pretty aggressive play, I think. Yeah, so he's going to bounce his Attendant Knight, and I can't do much about it, which is a little frustrating. I guess I could kill it, or not attack too. So if I Searing Spirit, he has to remove, he has to put something, yeah, he can't use his token either. Fuck it. And a bit of a punt. I mean, that's a, an, again, I'm, I'm D, D card value myself, like he's got to put his Soldier Token back in his hand. Attack me, I can't regenerate. He's doing seven, uh, which I can chump any time I want. Plus, next turn I can leave regen up. What's he got now? Three, three soldier. Oh, this guy's got a deck. 
This guy definitely has a deck. I cannot fault him for that. This, uh, Primal Hunt Beast is making all my removal look pretty embarrassing right now. So he puts a soldier token back in his hand. That to me is, is pretty poor value. Like it seems to me like these are worth more than just to be bounced. Now he's got the combo so I gotta essence strain that. This is gonna be a tough one to win. This guy likes running his spells out, losing my Bloodhunter bat. At least we know what he has. It's essentially a mid-range white deck. And we're stuck on land. I'm, I'm t the only reason I'm playing this out, for those who are curious, is I just want to see more cards. You know, it's always a good idea to, to be able to see what your opponent has, and see if they'll continue playing, playing out cards. I, I'm, for me to win, is almost impossible. You know, if I had a, a land and then uh, Chandra's Fury, wiping out his tokens and his Bond Beetle, forcing him to you know, bounce Primal Hunt Beast while keeping regeneration up. I may have been able to uh, find my way out of it, but this is just... Yeah, I'm just dead. So I see his Prey Upon, his Bond Beetle is... Yeah, he's got, you know, it's a pretty decent mid-range deck. Yeah, Chandra's Fury was really our out to the tokens. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether Kindle Fury is worth it. I mean, he has nothing but Ground Pounders. So I think maybe taking Kite Sail in, um, and taking out maybe our Hill Giant, seems okay. I think I just have to rely on my removal and hope it gets me there. Yeah, I want to play first. Uh, no, I don't want to mulligan that. One of the nice things about um, this type of a deck is is being able to curve out in in this format is is always going to be quite relevant. No reason to main phase that, but it is what it is. Next turn, he's taking three off the three two torch fiend. And if he gets a slow start, we might be able to just kill him with tempo. Goes to second main, pacifism's my guy. Which I suppose is okay. It's a pretty aggressive pacifism on a torch fiend, especially since I can sack it for some value, assuming he has an artifact, but I guess maybe what he just wanted to do is slow down my roll. Well, the bad news is Mr. 1-1. One, one. If he goes Captain's Call, I'm in I'm in a tough spot. Because Essence Train won't get him. That looks like what he's doing. No Primal Hunt Beast, I'm fine with that. This guy plays pretty quick. Now the question is... Would it have just been better if my Kite Sail was... Uh... <laughs> trade for Hunt Beast. That's a good question. So we'll take three off him. Four off him, because of the exalted trigger. God, flooded. So if he attacks Lone Naven Squire, I think I have to take it. He's probably going to swing with his Hunt Beast. No point in doing anything else. I would really appreciate drawing something, which that kind of isn't, but it will work. Uh, I'll play my land out so I can... <sighs> Is it better for me just to block and regen? Because I can make him force, him, force him to trade except the Exalted Trigger. Block and regen. Sure. I, I have plenty of action in my deck, and uh, keeping my generation up I think is probably more relevant.
force him to tap his creature for nothing, and he doesn't. And I have more mana. So I can play my Battle Jester, leave regen mana up. Uh, but my Battle Jester doesn't really do anything right now. I guess my Battle Jester equipped does... Does rage in for four attacking. And since I have him pretty much blocked on the ground, now that I can keep regen mana up, he's gotta do something. Destroy my kite sail. I bond beetle the Avon Squire, I guess. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, that's gonna hurt. Yep. When you have answers to everything I have, you're gonna win. So now I essentially have to take three, five, gets an extra point in, and I'm in big trouble. Yeah, that's game right there. I, I can't win this. I don't think I can. I'm just gonna die to X-Proof Man. I mean, I mean, we're getting pretty flooded. If that was Artifact and Enchantment, that would be a pretty big game. I mean, he has nothing left, and flames, two for one, still, well, we might be in it. Depending on what he draws, I guess I can trade Battle Jester for Prima Hunt Beast, but this looks like not, yeah. Game dead. Well, deck, do you have anything? Huh, <laughs> that's pretty cute, deck. Well, that's it. Basically, it. Oh, flooding and uh, mana screw. Gotta love it. Check out those draws. Land, 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 land. So, yeah, uh, hexproof creatures do the job. But, uh, I didn't get anything. Wow. I would assume I got a pack for three points, but uh, apparently not. This is uh, one problem with Magic Online uh, that you see uh, every single time, is that the the prize stuff in Magic Online is terrible. Anyway, um, it was fun. Uh, hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes that'll get me laughed at, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.